Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm back with a bit of a haul, but before I do that, I thought I'd show you some of the things that I've been crafting um, yesterday. Possibly done it all yesterday. Had a bit of time. Um, so I've just been playing with some stamps, doing some colouring in. This was stamp and die set, a bit of embossing. Um, I'm not sure what occasion really this card's for. I just think that the die set's really sweet and the stamping die set, so... I just had a little play with that one. This is using that dice that I had that made, um, I don't know what you call it, I guess like tunnel cards. But I decided to try and cut a different opening and use some of these Crafters Companion stamps that I haven't got around to really doing much with. And I think that's really, <laughs> really cute little card there. Um, I just love this Honey Bee stamp set that I have. So I had to make a little chicken. And of course, when you open it up, there are the eggs. <laughs> it's also using some of that acetate that I have absolutely masses of at the moment. Um, I also had a bit of a play with these, um, I remember hauling it not that long ago, that clutter decoupage pad. And I'd not really got around to making any cards with it. So I thought now's the time to start making some cards with this. And of course it comes with the inserts as well. And then just a sweet little baby card. That's another Honey Bee stamp set. That's one of those dies that cuts out almost like a confetti background, which is really sweet. So, yeah, that's some of the cards that I've been making. Ooh, there's one more. Another one of the clutter ones. Why not as I'm, as I'm at it? This one opens up like a doll's house. So they're quite sweet, aren't they? And, of course, they come with the inserts. So I've got a whole load more in that pad which I might have a play with. Um, and I've also been making, which I just popped inside this craft box, you might have seen on Instagram that I was making loads and loads of these um, rosettes from Crate Paper. I don't know what I intend to do with them. They look really sweet on packaging or something like that, but um, yeah, they're all good fun to make. So I've got a whole load of those now. And they're kind of sort of addictive. It's like making pom-poms and making pom-poms. They're quite addictive to make, so I might end up making more. But onto the haul, you'll think I've gone mad because I went back to Tonic to get some more storage pockets. Because um, I just want to finish that die storage. I've got so many dies, I needed more. But anyway, I'll show those in a second. Whilst I was on there, I picked up some more of these. So these were going for 90, I think they're still going for 98p a go. These little pots of sequins, but they're just really pretty. And they look really pretty on my desk. These are sunset yellow butterflies. I'm just showing you the little butterflies in there. Got these ones that are peach circles. Lovely for shakers and things. These ones are like little flowers. Rose shell blossoms. And the other one that I got that's like this is little hearts. Bluebell hearts. Really pretty colours. So I picked up those four. Um, then I picked up one of these, although I don't use my Nouveau drops very much. Um, I quite like the crystal one. I had that little trial one they sent me because they're quite translucent. Um, so I got some blue ones because they were obviously on sale. So I thought I'd give that a go. And then um, I haven't had these before, so I wanted to try them out whilst they were on sale. The Glimmer Paste. So I shall be doing some stenciling. They've, these literally come through this morning, so I've not tried them out. They're actually not going to be that easy to open. I was going to open them up and show you, but I think you can see it's basically going to come out like that. Um, and I do have some other sort of glittery pastes, but the glitter's a bit more sparse, whereas this glitter's really thick, isn't it? Well, not thick, but like it's fine glitter, so it's going to have a nice coverage. So, yeah, so I've got those. And I also picked up some more of their speciality card stock. Um, that's very glary, isn't it? Let's just take one sheet out. So this, I believe, is a pack of five of the Craft Perfect. And look at that. How pretty is that? It's like a... Is it black or navy? I can't even tell. And I'm looking at it in real life. But it's got that nice pattern in the background. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with these speciality card stocks, but because they're reduced right down, I um, took the plunge and bought it. 
Um, and then I also picked up a dye that was also a lot of this stuff all in the sale. Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes because I like that sentiment. And obviously doing I like doing lots of coastal crafts. Big coastal crafts. Um, so I want to do sort of a project with the blue and the blue and that. I'll bring that together. And then of course I had to get more of these. It's never ending, isn't it? But I just want it all consistent. The luxury stamp storage things and another pack of the dividers actually got two more stamp pockets um so yeah i got those and then on ebay i picked up how does your garden grow the moonstone pad to go with those moonstone dies i bought on facebook so with this one i can obviously cut rather than if i don't want to color them out i can put the dies on and um it's all pre-colored so you get for that one and I've got all those dies. I've got them in different colourways. Do it like this. Then that's the other dies. The only die set. I don't have this die set. Um, but I've got this one obviously. A different colourway. And then you get some background scenes. So yeah lots to play with and then lastly in this haul is um i also received today a pocket letter from the lovely pip and i've taken out the pack i took everything out of the packaging because of course i want to wipe it down with our old covid19 going on but she kindly agreed to do an oriental swap um knowing that i'm quite obsessed with um oriental wanting to go to korea See, that's not quite happening with all this situation. Um, but yeah, so you can see the pretty oriental papers that she's gone with. And whatever I make for her is always quite sort of pink and girly. And she takes a more like um, sophisticated approach in the one she sends back. It's interesting how our styles are slightly different. But yeah, she put in these lovely... Um, what do you call them? Peel-offs, aren't they? Which will be great. If I ever get to go to Korea, these will be perfect for my scrapbooking. Still a plan that we go. Um, and a gorgeous card with lace. And she has said she would do an Easter theme next, but we did speak yesterday and said, I think we're going to do a wedding one randomly. Not that either of us are getting married, um, but why not? I think the wedding that I was going to due to go to <laughs> in the near future has obviously been cancelled due to COVID-19. So who knows? We've got some pretty ribbon in the back. You can see the goodies that she's popped in. And um, we've got some lovely lace. That's be a little message from her, so I'll save that. Um, these are cute. It's all matching the colour scheme, isn't it? Look at those little flowers on there. And in here, this looks like Oriental fan. What oh, says Japan? Scandinavian. Scandinavian Japan. <laughs> Maybe I'm reading that wrong. I'm not sure what Scandinavia and Japan have got to do with each other. And then these pretty things. I don't I have to say it's a colour scheme. I don't have a lot of stuff in, so it'd be very nice to have. I think these look like those, um, what do they call them, like candy, candy shapes or something. You know what I mean, like C-A-N-D-I. I've seen them in packets. But Pip always um, presents hers really nicely with a bit of tape at the top. And those are sweet, aren't they? Little sticker toppers. Cute buttons, I love those. Um, so yeah, let me know what you've been up to whilst you have been on your isolation. And thank you very much to Pip for all of this. I absolutely love it. Um, and if you're interested in seeing how my die setup now looks, it's not as impressive as I'd like it to look. Um, but let me know, and I shall do a video on that. Speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs>